Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia and today I'm going to be doing these two colors using one violet So I'm just throwing it in the corner so you guys know my inspiration I want to do a purple ombre on my client Shakira. She is my blue hair client She's been blue for four years since 2019 It is now 2022 and she's been going through some things So she decided she wants to switch up her color finally so what you see here is her grow out. I have not seen Shakira since May. She's been wearing braids all summer. So due to that, we have not touched up her color and her blue has faded out to like this yellowy, brassy green looking color. So all I'm gonna do first is prep her. I already put her towel and her cape, everything that I use will also be linked down below. And I'm just going ahead and sectioning her hair out, making sure that I am detangling her because she did just take out a protective style of braids and you do not want to put color on braids or hair that's like just freshly taken out or um, not detangled because it can cause tangles and make the process like a living nightmare. So just want to make sure if you're coloring natural hair that you do detangle the hair and try to stretch it out. She's kind of stretched out, uh, which is ideal, but I still have to go in and make sure that any of that dead hair or shedding hair that may have came out that she didn't get um, after she removed her braids is out so that way it doesn't mat up, okay? So that is my thought process behind this. And we're going to be doing, like I said, a dark purple ombre fading into a lighter purple. And I'm just going to be using one purple by Pravana. I do have the full tutorial of this video along with like my little tips and tricks and everything on my membership. So if you want the full video broken down, um, regular speed and all of that, um, for like more detail, if you really, really don't get it, um, please feel free to join my membership. They're as low as 99 cents a month. And I have so many detailed color videos coming up and that are already on there, as well as some behind the scenes with my life and what's going on with me. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. But um, yeah, I'm just going in, like I said, detangling her hair. I am using my Paul Mitchell 427 paddle brush. This is my absolute favorite paddle brush. And I do have my Framar tray. I have my Framar scale and I'm gonna be using Wella products today. Um, the only thing that I'm not gonna be using by Wella is the color and that's by Pravana and that's in the shade Violet. But I'm gonna use that Violet and basically I'm gonna use that to create her ombre. I don't have to buy two separate colors. So I'm just going in now and adding on a Framar backwards bib and I am using the Framar pink paws as well as the Framar scale. Again, I'm mixing my lightener and my developer together and then I'm gonna be applying my Olaplex as well just to make sure that the hair is super healthy. I include Olaplex in every single chemical service, whether it be a relaxer or a color, because you just want to ensure that the client's hair is going to be nice and healthy. And obviously Shakira's hair has been blue for a very long time, and we want to make sure that she does not have any damage or breakage, okay? So her hair has been very long um, for a very long time, nice and healthy. As you can see, it's super thick. So you just want to be really careful not to damage the client's hair. So this was a new product I was using by Wella. I dropped the deets and the measurements and everything as well on my membership, but I am going in with different products um, all month. I'll be using Wella and Cholestan and different things because I do get in the habit of using the same things on my channel, but I do use um, several different color lines. It just depends on what I'm recording and what I'm trying to show you guys. So I did have somebody ask me a while back in the comments like, hey, do you use other products besides Rusk? And I was like, absolutely. Like I use a couple things. So that made me want to step outside the box and just show you guys the world of color that we live in. So again, I'm just mixing her lightener, nothing crazy, just lightener and developer. And then I am going to be sure to use my um, power painter, which is that paint brush looking brush by Framar. Again, I will link everything down below and I'm just applying her lightener. I did um, outline each section. And then I'm just going to go ahead in and start to apply the lightener throughout and just section everything out, making sure that I get a nice even lift and just doing my four quadrants and just working through. So I'm showing you guys this one on the side just because it's closer. But again, I have the full breakdown of me applying this in the color and like all the steps on my membership tab. So just enjoy this lightener application and I'll be back in just a few.
So now that that <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> so now that I'm done applying that, I am going ahead and mixing some lightener. You guys know I like to measure just for you guys, but typically I don't measure. So I just added the part of me not measuring how I mix my lightener and developer together. And you just want it to be like a nice consistency, kind of like whipped cream, kind of like pudding, but not too runny, not too liquidy. Um, this is a new developer I'm using and it's very much like water, but I loved it just because it helped me get through Shakira's hair a lot easier. And I did break down why I like this. And this was like my first time trying this and everything, but we're always trying new things and of course adding olaplex so i'm just mixing this mixture and um i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but i didn't hit the roots because the roots go last i say this in every video so i try not to be too repetitive but you just want to make sure that you color the roots absolutely last because you do not want to have hot roots to where her roots are platinum blonde and then the ends are still like a level six seven trying to process because that would be a disaster so you always do the roots last just to avoid having hot roots And I wanted to show you guys something cool about Pravana. So here I have my Deep Shine Rust color chart, which you can use any color chart. And she started off about a level one to two, but I'm gonna take her to about a level seven. And anytime that you see these Pravana colors, they actually tell you what level you need to be for the color to show. So on the box, it actually had a seven right here circled. And it lets you know that if you wanna have this violet show up on hair, it needs to be at least a level seven. If not, it will not show. So again, I thought that was pretty cool so if you kind of need a little bit of guidance a lot of times colors will tell you what level your client needs to be in order to achieve that color so for example i'm just referencing a different video if i'm doing copper and the copper is a 7.4 cc that seven actually tells you that she needs to be a level seven for it to show up how it looks in the color chart or in the color book um, if you don't lift it up to that exact level it'll still show sometimes but it just won't be as vibrant so a lot of times when you have like a 4 ch it lets you know okay for this chocolate she needs to be a level four um if it's a 7 cc that means she needs to be a level seven for this copper to be really bright so just whenever you're doing color just take another look at what you're applying a lot of times you can figure out what level you need to be just by looking at the color box it'll tell you the level kind of in the formula Okay, so that's all applied. I did shampoo her out. I also did an Olaplex treatment in her hair using Olaplex number two and also some leaf and flower molecular mender just to keep her hair nice and healthy. So this is what I'm doing, y'all. Don't judge me, judge your mom. Shakira also has a lot of baby hairs around the perimeter of her, of her head and a lot of like sideburns. And she told me that she wanted everything to be purple that you can see on her head minus her eyebrows. So that's why you see me going down super far. She actually has a lot of very, very fine hairs around her neck, her hairline, her sideburns. So whenever I do color for her, it just looks like I don't know what I'm doing because she literally has color all over. But that's intentional because she has a lot of fine hairs. And if I don't hit those spots, what's going to happen is she's going to have blonde all in the front and it's not going to be purple and that's not going to look cute or it's going to be dark and I'm going to miss it completely. And it'll be her natural color that she came in with. And we want it to be a true purple so i'm just applying this directly out of the container this is a direct dye meaning that once the hair is lightened you just apply this right on lightened hair and this was my method again i break down exactly why i did it this way and what i use the shampoo and condition as well but um i'm just applying this to her hair and just making sure to get it through nice and thoroughly and then i'm just going to massage it through making sure that i don't miss any spots and then i'm going to shampoo her and condition her with my um, matrix keep me vivid shampoo and conditioner because you like to use that for color safe hair and I also like to use the Matrix Keep Me Vivid spray that you spray in prior to blow drying so that way the hair is healthy, as well as Olaplex number six. So you can use any combination of those products. But right here, I'm just literally applying the color directly to her hair and I'm just working it through, making sure that I get every single section.
If you are a hair colorist, get you these products right here. They are the bomb.com. Again, link down below. Make sure you check that stuff out. And if I don't have anything linked, you can always click my Amazon store link as well. I literally update it once or twice a week and I add all the products that I use for every service, whether it be a silk press, color, a touch up, relaxer, um, just essentials. I add everything to that list. So be sure to check that out if you want to know everything that I use. So now I'm just going in. I already applied her Olaplex number six to her hair as well as some leaf and flower molecular mender. And I'm just going in with my Rusty Freak blow dryer and I'm also going in with a paddle brush and blow drying her hair. Now just to remind you guys of what I was going for, I added that color um, chart on the screen real quick and I think I hit it spot on. The roots are dark and it fades into a lighter purple and it is super, super bomb. So I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with the blow dry, but this is how it looked once we were done um, blow drying her all around as you can see nice and healthy nice and full she hasn't been here in a while so i am going to press her hair out and i am going to trim her ends and then once i'm done i'm just going to feather her hair and then insert her video of her um at the end that she added on tiktok i just took the audio off because i wasn't sure if it was going to copyright me or not and i did not want to be copywritten so i just went in with some um, s3 spray by influence you guys know i use that as well i always use a heat protectant and i'm just going in and pressing her hair out and I'm gonna add some feathers and we are pretty much done this tutorial. I did give Shakira a color wipe. I always hand her the color wipes that I use by Framar as well. That's actually what you can see blurred out in the background on the salon um, shampoo chair. It's that container that has like the different colors. It's black right on top of the black cape. And um, those are color remover wipes. So I just hand that to her. So she did remove all the excess color, but again, she has a lot of fine baby hairs that you guys probably can't see on camera. So I just let her remove it because I know one time I did it and I removed too much and it was like started fading her color in the front. So now I'm just like, here girl, remove your color, <laughs> do your thing. So any hair color service, um, I also include a trim if needed. And um, oh, if you guys want to know the pricing for this too, I also have that on my membership. So like, if you're not already joined, like what are you doing? You can't sit with us. No, I'm just kidding. But um, I'm just feathering her hair and then I am pretty much done at this point. Shakira loved her hair. She was super nervous, even though she's had bold um, blue hair before. She was just like, I've never done purple. I don't know if I'm going to like it. And I'm like, Shakira, you're the perfect person to have purple. Like you've had blue hair, you had red hair, you've had blonde hair, like you're going to be okay. So I'm just doing feathers. A lot of times when I have older clients, I'll leave their hair like this because they love that tight uniform curl look. But because Shakira is a lot younger, I want to make her look like grown and sexy, have a little bit of volume, you know, and kind of make it like romantic or whatever. So I'm just going to feather her hair and then I'm just going to judge it with my fingers and my comb at the end. And then I'm going to add some edge control by, um, what am I using? The care input? I don't even know, yo. I'm going to link it down below. I'm using edge control. Y'all see me apply that on the screen. I usually use the Eve in New York, but I ran out. I think I'm using the Care Care edge control that they sent me. Don't quote me. I'll, I'll drop it down below. So she was happy. I'm also going in and setting her hair with some Bio Silk Soft uh, Natural Hold. So that way her hair holds, but it's not crunchy because we like a nice hold. And I'm just judging it and she is feeling it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully I explained everything thoroughly. I was waiting for her to come in for like a month and a half, guys. I was so hyped when she finally came in because this is the hair color that I've been wanting to do because purple is my absolute favorite color. So thank you guys so much for watching. Drop some purple hearts in the comments down below. The color is now purple, okay? I just put the Uno card down. We done changed the color up. So drop some purple hearts, some purple, purple emojis, some purple crystals, some purple animals. <laughs> Whatever you can drop in the comments, just flood the comments with a whole bunch of purple emojis. And with that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe button you follow me on instagram at underscore cassandra olivia and i will see you guys in my next video bye